summer just started, but even before then, we had several drownings across our state, from rivers and lakes to pools. The week leading up to July 4th is going to be hot, and that will encourage a lot of people to head to the water. Consumer investigator Steve Sprecher joins us now live from Falls Lake. And Steve, whether you are swimming or boating, safety is the number one priority, especially if you have little ones. That's right, and whether you're in the water or not, we're at Sandling Beach right now, and it's beginning to empty out because we've had some pretty loud thunder. There's a thunderstorm that Bill Ray was talking about approaching this beach, so folks are leaving. But we need to show you here on this beach, there are plenty of these things. If you don't swim well and you're an adult or a child, there's no shame in putting one of these on. And in fact, if you're going on a boat, you're 13 or younger, putting one of these on is mandatory. The Sykes family is getting ready to launch their boat on Falls Lake, but before they took off, they checked their boat for all the right stuff. We're going to wear life jackets. We've got all of our required safety equipment. Bobby Sykes' boat is new, but he is experienced on the water, but a lot of boaters are not. Um, everyone needs to go through and take a boater safety education course. It's a free course. Today, the Sykes family pretty much has the lake to themselves, but the sheriff's office says on July 4th, this waterway becomes as crowded as a highway. There's a lot of people that are that are out there to have fun, may have had some alcohol and are a little more careless, so you had to be extra cautious of the people that are that are not cautious. Kids need to be taught early to respect the water and be safe in it. That's why three-and-a-half-year-old Rhett Dixon's mom is having him take daily swimming lessons. So it teaches them how to float and roll over on their back and float, breathe underwater, um, and we just keep an eye on him always when he's swimming. This beach has safety equipment standing by. At a pool, you should have a portable phone to call for help, a first aid kit, flotation devices, a hook to pull somebody out of the middle of a pool, and scissors. It can be used to cut clothing or hair if it gets sucked into a pump. Getting sucked into a pool pump can be deadly. And here at the beach, we have been told by the Wake County Sheriff's Office that 74% of all those who drown are age 15 or younger. So if you're coming to the beach at a pool or using, the, using a boat in the water, make sure you keep a real good eye on those kids and make sure they have flotation devices. Reporting live, I'm Steve Sprazier, CBS 17 News.